Hello everyone, myself Manjunath Rawat. So in this lecture, we are going to learn how to save the drawn construction in a PDF format. So we have this kind of paper size. Okay, to have the dimensions, you can just click over this plot option. It will give us one window over the screen. Over there you can see the actual dimensions for all those a4 size sheets, a3 size sheets, a1 size sheets. So in this lecture session, I will just brief you about the a3 size drawing sheet to which we have dimensions 420 by 297. And once we select this dimension, we are going to define the workspace by providing the limits for the construction. So in this uh, video, we will just go with these dimensions 420 by 297. Now let me first of all define the workspace. So to have a proper workspace, just type limit over the keyboard, okay, and just press enter button. So it will ask one, specify the left corner point. So in this case, we have to define the lower left corner point as a origin point with respect to this user coordinate system X and Y. So just enter the x value 0 and y value 0 and press enter button. Now it will ask us specify the upper right corner. Now as we have seen right now for the a3 side sheet we have the topmost right corner points at 420 by 297. So just press that value for the keyboard. Press tab button to enable the second rectangle 297 and just press Enter button. Now already we have set this workspace. Now to have the proper visibility of this workspace, now let me draw a rectangle for the same dimensions. So just select this rectangle option. Again, we have to specify the first corner point, and that is nothing but the lower left corner point that we have specified for the user coordinate system as a 0, 0 to the x and y coordinate just press enter button over the keyboard okay now you can see over the screen we have set this left corner point with respect to this origin point now to have a rectangle of a3 size sheet we have to enter the x and y value equals to 420 and 297 so just press enter button over the keyboard so to that particular size we have one rectangle over the workspace. Now let me pan this drawn rectangle so that we can have a proper visualization for this drawn rectangle. Now I will draw some features over this A3 size sheet and that we are going to save in a PDF format. Now let me select this circle and just draw a random circle over here so that we can have the same geometries while saving that drawn constructions. Now let me draw a rectangle over here of any random size. Now let me draw one elliptical curve over here. Now how to construct all these geometries that I have covered in a draw toolbar video lecture. Now you can just go through that so that you will come to know how we are going to complete this all uh, constructions. Now once we are done with all our constructions in this uh, preferred A3 size sheet, the next thing is that we have to save this construction either in a dot drawing format or PDF format. So let me show you how we are going to save this construction in a PDF format first. So just click over this application menu that we have at the extreme uh, topmost left corner point in that you can see one export option is there now just click on that you will get another option as a PDF so just click once on this option now this window will get pop up over the screen now over here you can see we have options either we can go with the display extends or the window now in this case we are going to save these constructions by selecting one window which is of a3 size 
so just go with this window option now to the next we have one select window option just click on it now you can see the whole workspace is get turned into the gray color now we have to select the actual a3 size rectangle okay that we are going to save in a pdf format so just select it and click once over there now initially by default we have a current setting like this so once we select this current option this another option at the bottom page setup override it get enabled now to get this override option just click over this drop down menu and select this override option now you can see this page setup override option is able now now just click on it in this case you will come to know on which paper size we are going to print out this selected pdf format now by default it has given a four sheet over there but actually we have constructed all our constructions over this a three size drawing sheet so just click over this drop down menu and just move this scroller in upward direction so over there you will find one a three size dimensions over there so just select this dimensions because we have completed all our constructions for this 420 by 297 rectangle so just select it now you have to keep this plot style table as none again drawing orientation so right now it is in a portrait format now you can see the drawing we have over this a3 size drawing sheet so it will cover only half of that portion but actually we want to utilize this whole 420 by 297 rectangle to have a proper print so just go with this landscape option now you can see the whole rectangle is going to be utilized for the printout now you have to tick this option fit to proper uh, paper so that we can have all the constructions along with this selected rectangle and here you have to always keep mm dimensions so once we're done with this initial setting just click on the ok option so we have completed the selection of the window as well as the page setup now you can see another options over here okay so if i just click over the option so from this we come to know what is the override precision we have selected layer information merge control password protection if we have, if we have given to this PDF so just click over this option another window will get pop up over the screen okay so here if you just click you can define your location to which we want to save this okay again the next option we have type and to the next we have override precision so in this case we have to select either we are going for the manufacturing drawing architectural drawing for the civil engineering drawing so by default it is none option so just keep it it add as it is now the next option we have naming again if i just click over this you can specify your name as well or just go with the by default options we have from for the name now if i just click over this layer information okay so we have two options over there include and don't include so just keep this include option as it is and these are the merge control lines so again if i just click over here and just click over this drop down menu you will get these two options line merge as well as line override okay so by default we have this line override option again keep this option as it is over there now many times we need to save our drawings which are the confidential one so to that we can provide password as well so in that case you can just go with the specific password by clicking over this specify password option but in this case we are just uh, looking for the uh, saving this drawn construction into a pdf format so we are not going to provide any kind of password over here so in this case we'll just go with the disabled option so if you just want to give password protections just click over this specify password and here you can enter your required password okay now let me go with this first option disabled okay and just click over this ok option now once we done with this initial setting 
just write down your name that you want to give to this drawn construction so by default it is showing us a drawing one so many times uh, for the college students we need to save this drawn construction by your roll number or the PRN number so that you can enter over here or you can just specify the name so that you can easily identify which constructions we have completed and already we have selected a PDF format over here okay so just go with this and you have to select the location where we want to save this now in this case I am going to just select this desktop option as a location and just click over this save option now once I click over this save option now over the window it is going to ask do you want to replace this so already I have done this uh, task previously that's why it is going to ask me whether you want to replace it or not but in the for your case it will not uh, pop up this message just I will click over this yes option now you can see the PDF is going to be created okay now at this bottom you can see we have the time stamp as well so it is going to show us what is the actual location and what is the name of the drawing and in which workspace we have worked this construction what is the date what is the time and what is the format we are going to save and what is the paper size we have selected okay so this timestamp we have over here now how to uh, modify this or the customize this timestamp that I will explain you okay to have the customization of this timestamp now let me go with this construction once again just click over this application bar go with this export option go to the PDF now over here you can see one icon for the timestamp okay so these are the output controls okay so the first option we have open in a viewer when done so as we have take this option so once I done with this all previous settings it is going to open in a viewer so that we can have the actual uh, preview for this save option again the next option we have include plot stamp so if I just uh, tick over this option it will show us at what time uh, and at what location we have saved this uh, constructions now to customize this timestamp you have to click over this plot stamp setting so just click over there now you can see these are the options we have for the customization so the first option we have drawing name the second option we have device name over which we are working right now this is nothing but the layout name now you can save the layout name over here model now this is nothing but the paper size now we have selected the A3 size drawing sheet paper to which we have dimensions 420 by 297 now this is nothing but the date and time and this is nothing but the plot scale so we are working one is to one scale right now now many times we need to uh, recognize or the identify by which login name we have done all our construction so in that case you can just uh, mark this login option as well okay now once we select all these plot stamp fields we can have a preview over here we can load another timestamp we can add and edit as well we have the advanced options over here so just uh, have a overlook about this default setting and just click over this ok option now let me uh, remove some options over here so that you can compare our previously created pdf as well as this uh, new pdf that i am going to create right now now let me remove this uh, device name as well as this uh, date and time ok now just click over this ok option I will click over this save option now to recognize the difference between this first drawing and second drawing now let me save this as a drawing number 2 and just click over this save option now you can see in drawing number 2 only we have this HP desktop drawing number 1 as well as model and this one ok so I have removed the timestamp over here in a previous drawing you can see we have the timestamp as well as well as this 
PDF format drawing to PDF like this okay so we can customize in this way so this is all about uh, creating a PDF file of our drawn construction now many times we need to save our drawing as a dot drawing format so that we can use the same file to modify the drawn construction as per our requirement now to have a dot drawing extension now let go let me go with this application menu just click over there again you will find one save as option over there so in that case you have to go with this drawing option okay so if i just click over there you can see another window will get pop up over the screen and here you can see the preview that i have constructed over this workspace now in that case you have to select this dot drawing extension only okay so that we can use this dot drawing extension to open this file as it is over the AutoCAD software and we can do the modification as per our requirements so many times we need to do some changes okay so in that case it will be better to have the dot drawing extension with you so that we can uh, use the same drawing to modify as per our requirements so just in uh, make sure that we have the dot dwg extension while saving this uh, file again i am going to save it over this desktop so let me click over this save option do you like to replace it because i have given the same name over here now let me change this so that it will not show us the same message again and again now let me rename this as a drawing 3 again just click for the save option now you can see we have that dot drawing over here okay so this is nothing but the dot drawing we have if i just click on it that same drawing is going to be open into the AutoCAD software so we have to select the proper application in which we want to open it and it will get open as per our selected application so this is all about the creating the pdf file as well as the saving the construction into the dot drawing format thank you